I gotta admit, I love drifting on Koraidon. Like, that is so satisfying, bro. How is that actually an animation? Oh my god. What is up everyone? It's the Munch and welcome back to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Today, we're going to be heading to Lavincia City, the glorious shining city that we see before us to take on the third gym and none other than its leader, Iono, the VTuber that everyone seemed to love when the trailer came out. I'm sure no one found it annoying, especially the fact that she clickbaited us for a week just to reveal Belly Bolt. Maybe the greatest Pokemon reveal ever, but if you guys are excited, make sure to smash that like button. And I want to thank you all so much for the support on the series so far. And I actually want to take a little bit of this episode to talk about the series and more specifically some of the comments I've noticed asking about why I haven't been doing more than one episode a day as I did with past playthroughs. So I want to kind of explain what's been going on with that and sort of my process for making these videos. And I'm not really sure why I have Nackley leading the team at a beach where there's going to be a lot of water types. So let's send out Picante because I have a very weird team for some reason right now. Oh god. Let's actually switch up the team real quick because we have quite a lot of second stage Pokemon now. Most of which evolved last episode, but some others we actually just caught in the wild. Like Oin Cologne here, who we've got the female and male version of and the most hideous Pokemon I've ever seen, Spydops. But none of these are necessarily Pokemon I want to use on the team, and I'm also not sure if I want to have RuPaul on the squad today since we're taking on the Electric Gym, so I guess I'll grab Quid, the Gimme Ghoul, as our final member, which means pretty much my whole team is female Pokemon and two genderless, so you could say we have a squad of all female. I mean, I don't know how the mouse couple works exactly, but... The ones that do have gender are all female and- <gasps> Is that what I think it is? Oh my gosh, yes! I caught just barely a glimpse of it, but I knew it was the little dolphin dude, Finizen! And of course we would get a female, because literally every Pokemon I've caught in this playthrough for some reason is female. Which again, I'm not complaining, but I do remember seeing a few other people comment that for some reason they've also been getting like 90% female Pokemon. Maybe the tables have turned, because I feel like in- all my past playthroughs, it was always male Pokemon on my squad and maybe like one girl. So I definitely like the change. I'm still not really settled on what my final team is going to be, as I feel like a lot of people have been struggling with in this generation specifically. There's so many cool new Pokemon and I want to use them all. And honestly, this game feels like you are able to use more than just six. And one of those might just be Finizen. It likes playing with others using the water ring on its tail and uses ultrasonic waves to sense the emotions of other living creatures. Just like real dolphins have a uh, echolocation, but also they have some weird psychic powers I feel. I might be a little bit off on that, but I've definitely watched some kind of documentary somewhere about dolphins having telepathy or some kind of way to communicate with other dolphins and humans that's not just through little clicks and echolocation or whatever that is. So if anyone knows exactly what I'm talking about, drop it in the comments. But now I'm going to focus on talking about the series as a whole while we set off to explore the great blue sea of Paldea. Now that we have the swimming ability of Koraidon, we can actually explore a lot of areas that uh, we were never able to before because you weren't going to make it with the little doggy paddle. Actually, if you even try to jump in the ocean, I'm pretty sure Koraidon would have just like cut to black. But here we have two TMs, Hyper Beam and Giga Impact. Kind of cool how they have both of those next to each other. But I want to specifically address the comments talking about how often I've been uploading the series. A long time ago, I used to be able to just hit record, play through the game for like 30 minutes. And that was basically it. I would just upload that to YouTube. But as time went on, I find it a lot more difficult, not just to like string my commentary together continuously, but I also just like adding these little memes and edits here and there that I feel like better express me beyond just the commentary. Like editing is sort of my creative outlet. And as weird as some of these little jokes I come up with may be, I feel like it's part of what makes these playthroughs unique. 
So I don't want to just hit record and upload as it is. In fact, it kind of feels like I can't do that anymore. Which is why I've thought about a lot of times of just streaming like fan games. If I do want to do more playthroughs in the future, they would most likely be streamed. But I do at least want to keep the tradition of doing the main series releases in this format. I just want to ask you guys that are sticking around and watching the whole series for a little bit of patience as I might not be uploading two to three episodes a day as I have for the past playthroughs, but I can at least promise daily uploads while this series is going. So even if it ends up taking me a while to play through the entire game, I like the pace that we're going at and I've been having a lot of fun recording and editing these videos, which I feel like is the most important thing at the end. Because if it's not fun, why bother? Am I right? So I feel like at the pace that we're going, the game will still be done before the end of the year, which I feel like isn't horribly slow. Like, a lot of people haven't even gotten their game yet and are either waiting on the holidays or have to wait in some cases. So basically what I'm trying to say is I'm trying my best, guys. And uh, <laughs> if I have time this weekend, I want to push myself to get two episodes out each day since it's Thanksgiving weekend and I know a lot of you will be at home in need of some content so hit that like button to give me a little bit of extra motivation. To be honest I don't know why I decided to catch Pincurchin specifically I guess I just find it freaking adorable like look at this little dude what even are you? He's a sea urchin obviously but more than that he's a Pincurchin. <gasps> no way! Spinel? You're evolving already? Oh my goodness! Yes, our cute little hammer fairy is gonna become a slightly more threatening hammer fairy! Tinka Tuff! I love the names of these Pokemon from Tinka Tink to Tinka Tuff! And no! I accidentally skipped the Pokedex entry. I always do that whenever it's an evolution. I don't know why. I guess because it just like, I think it's gonna ask for a nickname. Instinctively, I want to spam the A button, but I shouldn't have because we missed out now, but it's okay. We can always read it later on. So to wrap up this whole discussion, I have a special comment question of the day, and that is which was the first ever Munching Orange playthrough you saw on YouTube? And how did you first find my channel? Whether it's all the way from Pokemon Black and White, or maybe you just joined along with Scarlet and Violet. Let me know in the comments and I hope you'll stick along with me for many more years to come. It is finally time to head into Levincia. Oh, okay, there actually is someone with a little bit of a battle challenge. I defeated five trainers, but you want me to beat six. Of course you do. I guess we'll go back and try to find at least one more later on. Oh my gosh, look at this little kid carrying his little shopping bag. <laughs> it's almost bigger than him. That's definitely how I feel after going Christmas shopping. Anyway, now that we made it to another major city though, I just realized, does that mean we're gonna have new clothing options? Finally? And what is this music? Oh hell yeah, we jamming boys, let's go! We got a TM for Sir right over there. Yo, look at this man, he's freaking jacked bro! Just when I was about to start, start benching or eating a sandwich? Either way man, looking good. What's up with this store though? It looks like a restaurant, actually. I thought it was like a record store, like we could buy a music player or something. I will say, there's way too many restaurants in the game. Like, I enjoy the fact that there's different clothes shop, but do we really need... Oh, wait, never mind. It's a sushi place! Look at this four-piece sushi with the little Eevee and Pikachu. That is so cute. You know what? Let's go with the veggie sushi because it actually has EXP point for fighting, which Phoebe is a fighting type, so... If we use her against the water gym, or no, electric gym, uh, she'll get bonus experience and maybe evolve. And speaking of evolve, is that what I think it is? Oh my god. How did I only just notice? What? Wait, 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 wait. What is going on here? Mac and cheese. What have you been doing? Oh my god, they've been getting busy. <laughs> Not one, but two little shits got popped out. I'm so confused. When does this happen? I need to look at them closer. Oh my gosh, they're a little family. Why are you guys turned around though? Come on, face me. I can't like whistle at them or anything with the camera. I like the fact there's a camera feature, but 
The camera in this game, not really my favorite, because you can't like pose Pokemon or even call them to look at you, and sometimes if objects are too close, then they just straight up disappear. So, like everything else in this game, could definitely use a little bit of polish. Are there really no clothes shops in this whole city? Oh wait, there's literally one right next to me, and another one across town. Oh, Fashion Street, which means that there's probably multiple shops, so we'll go hit that up in a little bit, but first I want to check... Wait, is this it? That looks like a fancy restaurant. You got a golden plate. They don't even have a name. Just welcome. What can we get? Oh my... Dude, look at this menu. There's some bougie stuff right here. Ratatouille? Okay, we got a quiche. And these are some expensive dishes too. They don't necessarily seem like they have better effects though. This is the home of high fashion. Okay. What? Excuse me? These sneakers are $80,000? Yo, okay, those actually look pretty cool. I mean, do I have 10k to spare? We could always... <coughs> oh yeah, look at us, styling in Levancia. Levancia? What is this city called? Dude, why are you guys always turned around from me? What is this? <laughs> Seems like our little mouse family's uh, a little bit shy. Oh, maybe they're just camera shy. Is that actually a thing? Because they seem to be fine, literally until I put the camera on them. Well, if you guys have any suggestions for new nicknames for Mac and Cheese, let me know in the comments because I feel kind of weird since my two kitties are brothers and, uh... Yeah, I know some animals breed with their relatives, even though I find it that even weird, but... I don't want my two kitties to be doing that stuff, so... Let me know some new nicknames in the comments below. And also, look at these posters! Dude, these are awesome! Sometimes it pops up with the starters. Look at freaking RuPaul! Looking like a... Supermodel for real. And Sprigatito, and finally the Fuecoco. <gasps> Wait, is that literally Fuecocos? Like, the serial name is Fuecocos? No, because that's the evolution Crocolore, so I suppose they wouldn't be called Fuecocos. But come on, that's a genius name for a cereal. Like, anyway, uh, let's explore a little bit more. Looks like I just walked past a side quest, but I also have some wise glasses. Pokemon work real hard when they battle. The more battles they part take part in, the more effort. What does that mean? Are you gonna check my EVs? Oh, you do. Well, I'm guessing she gives you something if you show her a Pokemon with max EVs and something. However, I don't think any of my Pokemon have maxed out EVs yet, because we haven't really trained them all the way, so I suppose we'll have to come back to that lady at some other point later in our adventure. Uh, where was those closed stores, though? Okay, I'm looking at my map, and it looks like Right over here, we've got a sock store? Really, there's a shop just for socks. It's the green screen socks, bruh. <laughs> the clothing choices are definitely getting more interesting, but I'm still just so disappointed that you're forced to wear the school uniform. Especially now that we've seen Team Star. They don't abide by the rules. Makes me want to join up just so I don't have to wear this stupid outfit. But hey, looks like we finally made it to the gym. So let's head inside and see if we can challenge the gym leader. Or maybe she's somewhere else. I don't really know, but Rototo! Oh, is it Nimona? It's me. How's the gym journey? Which one are you going for now? Wait, seriously? I'm close by. Hang on, I'll come say hi. Feels like it's been a bit since we saw Nimona last. Yeah, we've been really focused on like the Titans and Team Star stuff. So it's been like four episodes since the last gym battle. Look at you with two gym badges already! Awesome! And this is the gym you chose to be number three, huh? Well, you're up to the challenge for sure. But like, just to be safe, you probably better have a pre-gym warm-up battle with me. Oh, okay. I mean, I don't know if my team is quite ready, but if you'll just wait for me really quick, then uh... Oh wait, what? Excuse me? Wow. You're not gonna even give me a ch- Oh my god. Of course Nemona would. <laughs> Before you take on a gym, it's good to see if you can find the battle court in town and check it out. It helps to see where the court is, what it's made of, stuff like that. Those things might affect how the battle goes. Does it though? They've all been like just a plain battlefield so far. You know, one look at your face and it's obvious that you're getting even stronger. I think it's time I started introducing you to some of my harder hitters. Ooh, okay. I've been waiting for this, so let's do it. Our second, or maybe third, rival battle against Nimona? 
No, the second time she taught us Terrestrialize, but we didn't actually fight her. We fought some Team Star Grunts, so I'm pretty excited for this. We got Rock Ruff. Wait, I could have sworn she had a Rock Ruff, though. Right? Or maybe not. Think of this as practice run for your next gym battle. Come at me with everything you've got. Yes. Well, we do have mac and cheese, and this is a good chance to test out our new item we got. The loaded dice, which apparently makes it so your multi-hit moves are more likely to hit all five times. Or I guess however many times they're supposed to hit. And yeah, seems like it's working. We got the bullet seed hitting at least four times right there to knock out Rock Ruff in one hit. Let's go, Mouse Hold. Nice moves. Your skills sure are ripening. I don't like the way you said that. Ripening? It almost sounds like you're waiting for me to mature or something. Ugh, that's, that's kind of creepy, Nimona. But I believe I saw up next is Pommy. And this isn't quite a gym battle, so I'll allow myself to switch just because it makes the game even easier, I guess. <laughs> if I didn't switch, I mean, we still would have just switched out to Whoopi when we saw the Pommy, and it probably would have gone for an electric move, so wouldn't have hit us anyway, but you really go for Dig, man? Come on. It sucks because I don't have Wattrell, or actually the Evolution now, on the squad, so we're gonna have to wait, it seems. You know what? I'm gonna just take this chance to lay out some Toxic Spikes. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have done that, actually, because we're slower. So, uh, most likely Pommy's gonna Dig next turn again, and we're just gonna waste our time waiting for her to Dig. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing, man. I should have just used mud shot something interesting i learned is that you can actually move the camera around in these battles if you press in the right stick i believe no still not letting me move the camera okay maybe it's because her pokemon just fainted so let's wait until we see her last one come out which uh, i think we know is gonna be for coco don't pat yourself on the back just yet my next pokemon is gonna turn the tables yeah whatever you say Oh wait, it's Crocolore, who's literally on that poster in the background. And because we laid out the Toxic Spikes, that means you are in for a rough time, buddy. Also because Whoopi is ground type, so yeah, this is not going to end well. Even if you terrestrialize fair and square, even if you did somehow by cheating, I wouldn't care. Because our Mudshot is going to destroy you. Oh wait, unless she terrestrializes into... Oh, okay, never mind. She terrestrializes into fire type. I thought maybe she was gonna switch switcheroo and turn Crocolore into a grass type or something, but no, it's still just the regular old fire type Crocolore, which means Mudshot is super effective. But she did go for Yawn, so if we don't finish this thing in the next turn, we're gonna be falling asleep. But actually, because of the poison we laid down earlier, I believe we should be able to finish it with Mudshot, but I want to see first, because I'm pretty sure there is a way to move around the camera. No, that's definitely not it. Bro, I could have sworn I figured out how to do it in a previous battle, but I can't figure it out right now, so whatever. I'll try again, maybe at the gym leader. For now, let's wrap things up, or not, because it barely lives with one health, but the poison's going to finish it off any second now. You're really going for Yawn again. Okay. <laughs> Whoopi's not even gonna fall asleep. This is amazing. Rockalore gets shattered. And Nimona's dreams also get shattered. Because we have won against the champion. She's a champion, right? Like, doesn't that mean we're the champion now? Since we beat a champion? At least that's how it would work in Alola. Man. You sure battle like someone with more than two gym badges? Well, that was a great battle. Fruitful for sure. Here, take these as thanks. And we get some full heals. Which I'm guessing are gonna come in handy against the electric gym. Keep on collecting badges for now, and let's battle next time we run into each other at the gym. And orange? Yes? I hope you get even stronger. Like way, 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 way stronger! And once you do, you and me can just battle our hearts out. Alright, time for you to whoop that gym test. Thanks for this. I mean, I should honestly thank you for the experience, because we're going to need it. Or maybe not. I mean, we have Whoopi, which I'm guessing is going to destroy the electric gym, but the more experience, the better, I suppose. 
Dude, the Lavincia City theme has no right to be this banging. Like, whoever designed or I guess produced this song needs a raise, man. Where the heck is the gym leader? I just realized. We went into the gym, we fought Nimona, but that didn't actually start off the gym challenge. So, were we supposed to talk to the guy at the counter? Probably. I just totally forgot. But now we're exploring again, so I suppose we'll just uh, keep trying to grab all the items around here. Might be something else worthwhile. Actually, I just remembered too, I wanted to get the uh, Pokemon Center challenge complete. So we got to fight at least one more trainer. Aha, here we go. One more trainer for us to take down. Hopefully he's close enough to the town where it actually counts for the challenge. What is this character design, man? That beard looks hideous. There is a Terra Pokemon up ahead, actually. I'm gonna check it out real quick. Oh, it's the Growlithe. Wait, didn't I fight this already? All right, that's six trainers down. A TM for Stomping Tantrum, which should come in pretty handy against the Electric Jam. And actually, that's what I was gonna do next, is check out the TM machine and see if there's any other ground type moves that we might be able to use. The cool thing is you can actually sort the moves at the very top by type. So if we keep scrolling all the way to ground, we'll see that we have Mud Slap, Bulldoze, Mud Shot, and Stomping Tantrum, which we just got. And actually, Knackley can also learn, or whatever the evolution is called now. I don't really know. Uh, Mac and Cheese can learn Mud Shot, so uh, that might come in handy. Mac and Cheese don't exactly have the best nature, considering it's all physical moves, but still... Mudshot is special, so that's pretty good for them. And the Stomping Tantrum we just got, I'll go ahead and teach to Clodsaya. And now we should be more than ready for the gym challenge. Welcome to Levincia Gym. Let me register you. Orange, yes? Si, senor. Great. Now, in order to face gym leader Iono, you'll first need to pass the gym test. Here at the Levincia Gym, that means starring in one of Iono's streams. What? No way, dude. <laughs> we want you to dazzle her audience with your skills and rack up those subscriptions. Just head outside and you'll soon find out what you need to do. Now get out there and have some fun! This is gonna be awesome! I thought that the title I made was, I guess, Poking Fun? But it actually rings true? Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the IOTO Zone! We get to be on my favorite show! I love iCarly, dude! Oh my god. What? Hey, hey, hey! Your eyeballs are mine! Caught in my electroweb! Who's a what's it? Iono, the gym leader here! Hello, hello, hola! Ciao and bonjour! Hello, hello? He says awkwardly. <laughs> oh snap! Look at you! Already a master of Ionois! Not your first rodeo then, eh? Nope, definitely not. Uh, I hope this doesn't come as too much of a surprise, but you're being broadcast live to the world right now. Smile! Anywho, Challenger, thanks for coming out to the Levincia Gym to see me. Of course! You know how many people would kill to get a one-on-one -on -one with THE Iono? I'm super happy you're here, but I'm also a bit of a celeb, you know. I'm all kinds of busy, so I can't collab with you unless I know you can bring in those sweet, sweet viewer num- Uh, I mean... I gotta make sure you can bring some real passion to my stream. <laughs> yeah, sure. There's no need to sugarcoat it, Iono. We all beg for likes. It's fine. I'll help you get a viral hit. I can tell you just can't wait to get started. Well, allow me to explain the plan. Come on out, Mr. Walksabout! Who? Oh my... The frick are you doing here, Clavel? Don't tell me. Say what? Do you guys know each other or something? This here dude had a real aura about him when he was walking down the street, so I snatched him up for my dealio here. You are too kind. <laughs> oh my god, Clavel subscribed to the tier 3, isn't he? Well, anywho, since you're today's challenger, I'm gonna have you play hide and seek with Mr. Walksabout here. Look for the good gentleman using the street surveillance cameras, find him three times, and you can consider this gym test passed. We need a better name for this challenge though. I'll call it... Where in Levincia's Mr. Walks About? So original. You think that title's safe? Nothing iffy about it, right? Oh my god, she even made a reference to the fact that... Copyright. 
I love this. It's so meta for a YouTuber slash streamer to be playing this part of the game. Like, I actually want to go watch some other people's episodes about this, just to see how they reacted. Mayhap our dapper gentleman is ready. Hey, Mr. Walksabout, you good to go? Yes, sir. I mean, ma'am. Ready be he. Mr. Walksabout's hiding somewhere in this video. Dude, he's literally right there. Oh my god, that was so easy. Are you kidding me? Ready or not, here our challenger comes. So what, do we have like a little mouse pointer and we just have to click him? It's literally, where's Waldo? Hi, Mr. Walksabout. Oh my god, look at that, guys. I did it. Whoa. <laughs> there is no way. This is actually Iono's gym challenge. Well then, before we move on to the next round, let's make it a little more interesting. You get to have a battle with one of my fans. Get out here, you silly Pokemaniac. Oh, this is the real Patreon supporter. Wait, there actually are gym battles for once. Hell yeah, dude. I've been missing gym battles for sure. Like, trainers, I mean. I guess first gym had some. Can't remember if Brasius, the Sunflora thing, Pretty sure we didn't battle a single trainer while playing that hide and seek mini game. But that could have just been because I didn't bother talking to the people in the town. Not really sure, but thankfully Phoebe's got dig, so Luxio gets shredded. Now I'm not sure if I should actually keep Phoebe, because I forgot that she has dig. Might be better to take Phoebe than mac and cheese against Iono, since of course Phoebe will be able to resist electric moves as well. I don't know need some stronger fans though. And you win! Well done, friendo! Oh god. I'm just not even gonna acknowledge that. Here we go! The next stage for my totally rad test! Oh my god, wait. No, that's Nurse Joy, right? Or is that Clavel wearing a Nurse Joy outfit? That's gotta be him, right? Oh my god, wait, what? There is no way. He blended in! No, that's not right, bro. You can't use a glitch to your advantage. You were literally inside of Nurse Joy, bro. Was it supposed to be like that? Or did I just... I don't even know, but... I knew it was a little fishy. And also, I didn't see him anywhere else in the scene, so it had to be that Nurse Joy, or that was just blind or something, but... This guy's actually got a Tynemo, which has the ability Levitate, so... We can't quite go for Dig, but I'm pretty sure Arm Thrust from Phoebe's still gonna hurt quite a bit if we can hit five times, that is. Of course. Maybe I should switch the Loaded Dice onto Phoebe, actually, so we can get maximized hits with that Arm Thrust. But I think two more might just be enough. Oh, nice. Took it down. Tynemo confirming the game, by the way. Don't think we'd seen that up until now, but... Pokemon I actually really liked in black and white, I think I might have used one in my playthrough. Can't quite remember, but we've got a Flappy coming out next. But I want to see how the damage is with our newly acquired Bulldoze, since I'm not sure if I want to take Knackle Stack or Mac and Cheese into the gym battle. For sure we're taking Whoopi though, our Claude Sire, because like, you know, it's our main ground type, or the only one that actually is ground type, so it's going to be immune to electric moves. And that is definitely the only thing I would recommend against an electric gym. Like, I guess that and electric types themselves. So you can have another resistance because as far as I know, ground is electric's only weakness. But I'm sure that Iono is going to end up having some sort of counters for it. Like maybe a water or a grass type Pokemon that she terrestrializes into electric type. But... Let's just cut to the chase. Give me the final challenge, friendo. The last stage will be this place, the battle court, where the battles are raging. Can you find Mr. Walks about among these randos? Let's find out. Ready, go. Uh, yeah, this uh might just be the easiest gym challenge ever. Admirably done. I hope you'll find your treasure in your independent study with just as much ease. My number of subscribers are on the rise like a super fast Electros! Uh, I mean, congratulations! Hot diggity dang! What a good time, huh? You had people on the edge of their seats worldwide! I bet I could have some super rad streams by collabing with you, Orange! Oh, I bet we would. 
As long as it's not freaking Where's Waldo ripoff. I would totally make Iono play some horror games. I want to see how she reacts to like Five Nights at Freddy's or something. Okay, there's way better horror games out there, but for some reason that's the first one that popped into my head. And also one that would probably get her some viewers, so I'm just trying to give you some good ideas out here, Iono. Or maybe not, because at this point, Five Nights at Freddy's seems kind of old and tired. I'm not really sure what's popping now. Maybe that poppy playtime game? If all else fails, we could always just react to Jaden animations. But now is not the time to think up collabs. It is now time to face Iono, the gym leader. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? Uh, I think I didn't actually switch or heal my team, so I hope that uh, they're healthy enough. Because it's time to face our third gym leader. Or actually, it's time for the Iono Zone, everybody! Oh, I forgot she's going to stream this too. Can't miss out on that content. At least she got some banger music, though. Today's challenger is flying high like a Wattrell. It's orange! Yay! Oh my god. A little too close for comfort there, no? How are you feeling about this battle? Bro, are you really interviewing me before... Honestly, I'm a little worried. Playing timid, eh? <laughs> I don't hate it. Alrighty then, who's ready to see me kick some butt? Yeah! The crowd's hyped up! Wait, someone just donated 5k? My dude, she's not gonna send you her bathwater. Let's get this show on the road! How strong is our challenger? I don't know, let's find out together! Is that why her name is Iono? Because she doesn't know? That makes a little too much sense all of a sudden. But also, all of a sudden, gym battle music kicks in! I kind of like the Iono stream music, though. Give me a battle that'll electrify all my viewers! So she's going to kick things off with a Wattrell, which is actually immune to ground-type moves already. So Iono starting off with some strategy. I probably should have let off with Nosh to begin with, but it's fine. We can just switch it up real quick. As long as she doesn't have a fighting move or something, would be quite surprising if she somehow did. But we actually have the Smackdown, which will bring that bird all the way to the ground. Oh my god. I didn't think it was going to one-shot it. Jesus. Notch. Calm down. <laughs> Absolutely shrugged it. And next up is going to be Belly Bolt, her signature Pokemon. Or at least the one that we saw in her debut trailer. Which we know is a pure electric type. So let's kick things off with a Bulldoze. That'll actually knock its speed down too, even though we were already faster than it. Oh wait, <gasps> I forgot about this. But it doesn't actually matter because... Oh, wait a minute. Maybe, maybe, maybe it does matter because she's got water guns. So I'm gonna use my own big brain strategy here. Expecting that she's going for another water gun, we're gonna send out Whoopi, who's actually got the water absorb ability. Or I guess she goes spark instead. I mean, that also doesn't work since we're ground type. So either way, Whoopi is immune to anything that Belly Bolt can throw its way. A stomping tantrum is going to charge it up. But that only powers up your next electric move. Oh my god, dude. This is so troll. We're totally trolling Iono. She can't even hit us. I wonder if Belly Bolt even has anything that's not electric or water. Like, I feel it should have at least a normal type move or something. I haven't really trained a Belly Bolt myself, so I'm not sure. But her last Pokemon is going to be Luxio? Wait, that's already an Electric type, so not quite sure what she's going to do in terms of Terrestrializing. I mean, she's an Electric Gym Leader, so you'd have to assume that she's going to Terrestrialize into Electric... Oh my god, no way. Oh, I thought maybe she had an Air Balloon on it, but not even that. What the heck? She doesn't even terrestrialize it? Unless... Oh, wow. She's actually got four Pokemon. Never mind. Here I was thinking this Luxio was something special. Like, nope. It's just regular old Luxio getting flattened down by Claude Sire. 
absolute MVP of this gym right here. Haven't really been paying attention to levels all that much. So Claude Sire's at 27, and <gasps> she does have the Miss Magius. Yo! Oh no! This ain't good! Loyal fans, I need to hear you cheering! Give me all you've got! Her final Pokemon is actually gonna be the one that was rumored all that time ago, but wait, I think that means it's got Levitate, no? Ooh, what am I gonna do then? I suppose we could terrestrialize our own Claude Sire. Come forth, shiny little light bulb! I'm not done yet. Iono power, activate! So yeah, a very long time ago, I covered a leak about the Iono trailer that said she was gonna have the petrol Pokemon and an electric terrestrialized Miss Magius. I don't know how the heck the guy knew. I guess he had played the game and thought that they might be in the trailer, but they definitely did not end up being in the trailer. However, it did actually end up being Iono's team, which is pretty crazy. Or at least means that guy definitely did have the team since way before it came out. But of course he would start off with a confused ray. Oh, this is not good. The lucky duckies finally strike. It's been a very long time. I think only once in this playthrough we got hit with confusion and they were not on our side then and they are not on my side now. Come on. I don't want to deal with this. And you're going for Hex too? Ooh, that is a deadly combo with a crit too? Oh, okay, we just straight up snap out of it. Great, that means we can hit our poison jab and it's not super effective, but still did a good amount of damage. I mean, I could just, no, we can't switch, right? Cause Miss Magius has Levitate. So it's basically has no weakness. Kind of like Electros. Pokemon I was talking about earlier, uh, the evolution of Dynamo. It's an electric type with Levitate, which is basically the only type combination I think right now that doesn't have any weakness or nothing that can be super effective. It used to be that Sableye had no weakness, but now Fairy type exists, so I believe Electric might be the only type with no weakness, but only if you have Levitate, of course. With one more terrestrialized poison jab, we will finish it off. Claude Sire absolutely carried this gym and destroyed Iono's viewership. It's a new record! One million viewers! And they're all gonna subscribe to Claude Sire! I heard he's got a pretty good ASMR channel. You're as flashy and bright as a 10 million volt thunderbolt, friendo! Oh god. That was basically me when the confuse ray hit. Our challenger came out victorious. Well done, Orange! Thank you. I'm glad you can take defeat so easily, even in front of viewers. Which is something I definitely had to learn as well. Uh, every time I would Wi-Fi battle viewers, live i'd be taking l's left and right so what does our challenger get for beating me the lean mean streaming queen i'll tell ya you win a tier three subscription Woohoo! screen cap this quick oh my god okay hold up i'll never forget this moment our victory over the greatest streamer in the world iono amazing pose by the byzies, with three gym badges, Pokey Pals up to level 35 will be easier to catch. They'll listen to you when you ask them to do stuff too. And as my thanks for such a sweet pick, I will give you a TM. For a second I thought she meant like a t-shirt, but no, it's, it's literally a TM for Volt Switch. I'm gonna guess that her Pokemon all had that, but she couldn't use it because they were too busy getting smashed. Like that subscribe button. Your eyeballs are mine! Caught in my electroweb! Who's a Watson? Iono the supercharged streamer! Catch y'all later! Imagine as soon as the stream is over, you see Iono's true colors. You son of a I told you to throw the match! How dare you humiliate me in front of my viewers! <laughs> Meanwhile, Claude Sire's over there like, eh? But wait, looks like the episode's not over yet! Pardon me, hello? What's this? You just defeated the gym leader, yes? And your name is Orange, if I recall correctly. Tell me, do you seek to become a champion? 
Of course! The champion! Just what I hope to hear. You have a rare talent, especially for your age. Aim high, greater heights are within your reach. Oh, but I've gotten ahead of myself. Oh, is she gonna introduce herself? I am Gita, chairwoman of the Pokemon League, the organization that runs these gyms. As you seem to be collecting badges, I suspect we'll meet again down the line. Until then, good day to you! Damn! La Primera! Gave us her blessing. Well, I'm definitely hyped now. We met the champion of the region. We took down the world's greatest streamer. I'm basically the best trainer in Paldea already. But not officially, so you'll have to stay tuned for the rest of the series. Don't forget to hit that like button if you guys enjoyed. And I'll catch you in the next episode.